Ladies and gentlemen, we have another ball, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm slightly kind of pissed off by this Woj bomb. Let me tell you why. Let me read you the trade. Adrian Wojnarowski says that the Clippers, Knicks, and Wizards have agreed to a three-team trade that will land Marcus Morris and Isaiah Thomas with the LA Clippers. Jerome Robinson will join the Washington Wizards while Mo Harkless and a 2020 first-round pick go to the New York Knicks. Knicks, what are you smoking? Crack! How did the Clippers... Pull this off. And I heard reports that the Lakers offer Kuzma and Danny Green. But the Knicks decide to settle with Mo freaking Harkless in a 2020 first round pick? That is freaking ridiculous to me, bro. How do the Clippers get away with getting Marcus Morris? And I know I said initially Isaiah Thomas was going to go to the team, but they now saying that the Clippers would not keep Isaiah Thomas. Poor Isaiah Thomas. He cannot stay on the team. Every time he gets on the team, he seems to leave that team, which is kind of tough. But the LA Clippers now add Marcus Morris, who is the leading scorer for the New York Knicks this season. They add another scorer to their bench, and now they have pretty much two starting lineups on the roster. You pair them up with Lou Williams, Montrez Harrell, you pair him up with those players off the bench. The Clippers, I cannot lie. As a Lakers fan, bro, they kind of look OP. But, 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 but Lakers Nation, do not, do not panic. With the team that we have right now, we are first in the Western Conference. With the team that we have now, with the nucleus of AD and LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, Rondo, even Alex Caruso, KCP, with the team that we have, we have made it this far into being first in the Western Conference. It's something about this team this year that makes me think we are still going to win it all. Despite the move that the Clippers did today, let's forget about that. Look at what we have and look at what we're going to get. Darren Collison has said that he's going to make his decision right after All-Star break. So we're gonna like most likely get Darren Collison after All-Star break. So that's adding another point guard, another much needed point guard to the team. Sorry, Rondo, but you've been slacking this season. But that adds a ball handler to our bench and a person that could create his own shots to our squad off the bench. And so I'm not worried about him. Plus we're working out J.R. Smith. I know J.R. Smith hasn't been playing his best basketball in the past few years. Take a look at the crew that we have right now and how far we have come. Our defense is one of the top defensive teams in the league. We are one of the top offensive teams in the league. We have LeBron James. Don't get it twisted. Clipper Nation, we are coming for you. Hey, hey, hey. LeBron James in the playoffs. Y'all must have forgot about him. Y'all must have forgot about him. Man. Oh, not trying to fire shots or anything like that. But Joe Ingles locked up Paul George during the playoffs. But we're not going to talk about that. I'm not worried. I, I can admit, I was a little worried at first. I think the Lakers are cool, calm, and collective. And I think this could have been the best move we could have done so far. Not do anything. Last year, we traded Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, who is now an all-star, Josh Hart, off of Anthony Davis, which we don't regret. But we gave up a lot to get Anthony Davis, and I think that that kind of hurt us because we barely have a deep, deep bench then we could that we could have had this year by not doing anything this year by just you know waiting looking and seeing what everybody else is doing keeping the same squad i think that togetherness that we have right now i think we come together as a team lean on each other as brothers and i feel that that passion and that brotherhood that we have right now is going to take us far in the playoffs as a lakers fan if you're a lakers fan out there Please do not be worried about the Clippers. Plus the Clippers, they haven't won anything yet. So they shouldn't be hooping and hollering and stuff and jumping up and down and saying, oh, we're winning the championship, oh. You haven't done anything yet. It's your RJ pal. Let me know what you think of Marcus Morris going to the LA Clippers. Will the LA Clippers win the NBA championship? And how does all this affect the LA Lakers? As a Laker fan, I'm chilling. Laker Nation, we should be chilling. We should already know we're going to win this NBA championship. Laker Nation, we in here, baby. It's your boy, J-Pow. Cue that Kobe song, baby. Okay. Okay.
24 on my shirt He the greatest on the court and I'm the greatest on the verse Going for the fourth ring like it was his first God 